The Ivana Falcons are doing everything in their power to try and convince all pro tight ends, Tony Gonzalez, to reconsider his retirement request. Hi everybody, and today we're putting a different spin on the McCann Sports Beat Report by adding a co-host. And joining me now is my buddy Nick Feltis. Nick, so great to see you, and thanks for being here today. Nice to see you too, Kevin. I uh, wouldn't be anywhere else but uh, talking about my beloved Atlanta Falcons, who just recently uh, actually got knocked out of the uh, playoffs and aren't going to the Super Bowl. So I know that's heartbreaking for you, bud, and one that uh, certainly uh, crushed your heart after giving up that 17-point lead to uh, the 49ers in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is a touchy subject for me because I love him so much, but, I mean, what we're really here to talk about today is uh, Tony Gonzalez and his possible return. Uh, Thomas Dimitrov was lobbying for Tony Gonzalez to come back to the NFL, and, I mean, we got to get our opinions. Uh, so we're going to start with you, Kev. Well, at 36 years old, uh, Tony Gonzalez uh, obviously had uh, the best season of his career uh, with 93 receptions. His average, he averaged uh, 10 yards in reception and had nearly 1,000 yards receiving, uh, plus eight touchdowns, and certainly his first uh, playoff win this year against uh, Seattle is... <laughs> Nothing to uh, sneeze about when you're talking about his uh, Hall of Fame resume. Yeah, he does have a Hall of Fame resume. I mean, the guy has been outstanding his whole career uh, with Kansas City and, of course, now with Atlanta. But, I mean, I don't know if it's time for him to move on. He's 36, year, sorry, 36 years old, but the guy is in immense shape. I mean, he's probably one of the best all-around athletes in the NFL, uh, bar none. I mean, he's... Um, He's in the off season. He, he just stays active, and the guy has his own um, his own company for um, nutrition. Nutrition, yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, it's is, is it time for him to leave? Maybe, but I mean, can he come back? Uh, it's a possibility. And I think with him in the lineup, Matt Ryan does have that security blanket. So if, if he doesn't get his Julio Jones or his Roddy White open, Tony Gonzalez is always there, and he has been for the last few years. So. Certainly with the addition of new offensive coordinator uh, Dirk Cutter, uh, the offensive numbers for the Falcons were uh, cer certainly more through the air than they were uh, with uh, Mike Malarkey as offensive coordinator. And as uh, Michael Turner has gotten older, he's still a reliable back, but as you, you know more than I do, of course, as long as... Uh, become more of a uh, pass-happy offense yeah, yeah. because, as you know, in the NFL, points come through the passing game. And certainly, uh, Tony uh, Gonzalez has been a major part of that for Atlanta. Yeah, definitely. Basically, right now is what they're saying is uh, Thomas Dimitrov is, has asked, formally, Tony Gonzalez to come back for at least one more year. And pretty much right now, it's up to Tony Gonzalez whether or not he wants to come back to the NFL. But as you were saying, his family and uh, his and other interests. His other interests, yeah, and definitely the question for him right now, like whether he wants to come back for one more year. And certainly uh, uh, the only thing missing from his Hall of Fame resume is that is the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl yeah. championship. So as an athlete uh, and his competitive uh, spirit and juices are certainly uh, flowing uh, uh, to try and uh, capture that one elusive thing that has eluded him all these years of playing the game he loved. Of course, the converted basketball player yep. that uh, Tony Gonzalez is, and I, I, I think you would agree he picked the right uh, career. I definitely think he did pick the right career because, I mean, he's, I gotta say, he's, he's the best tight end of all time. I mean, for sure. That's, I mean, he has the most catches for any tight end. And the thing is, I, I'm thinking he has to, um, well, he's got this decision to make, and I think he has to make it if he does make it before the draft because either they have to address their tight end needs, which is going to be vacant because all they have is uh, Palmer and Chase Kaufman, who really no one has heard of. And um, they got to either he comes back and they draft a defensive end because, as we all know, John Abraham, he's getting old and he plays, he plays selective snaps. So, I mean, hopefully he makes it before the draft. 
And either that or we're getting a new tight end, hopefully, or we're going to get a new defensive end on the team. Well, uh, I don't think uh, the decision for Tony Gonzalez will take long to make. I, I think Tony Gonzalez is a, a concisive guy who makes uh, decisive decisions. Uh, so I think the, the decision will come rather quickly. Uh, and certainly, uh, uh, he'll have to weigh his competitive uh, des uh, desires against uh, his, the physical uh, limitations of his body. Uh, plus his uh, personal uh, endeavors as well. So Tony Gonzalez is got a full play uh, that, that he'll have with or without football, and we'll see if he wants to juggle uh, that uh, ball again in the air. But uh, we've come to the end of uh, this edition of the uh, McCann Sports Speed Report, a uh, uh, special edition, and we thank Nick for joining us today, and we thank you for watching. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. Bye-bye.